Hello and welcome back. In today's tutorial, we're going to learn how to move a model using the old way before Pivot 2 and Get Pivot was available in Roblox. In my workspace, you can see I have a right staircase, and my right staircase is a model, contains a bunch of parts in it. Now let's go to our service script service. We're going to take a look at the script. In our prior tutorial, we have learned that we can use Pivot 2 to set the new C frame for our model. And we can use get pivot to get the current pivot of the model or the current C frame of the model. For today's lesson, we're going to go back in history before pivot two and get pivot was available in Roblox. So back then to, to move your model, what you needed to do is you need to go to your model and you need to select a primary part. So select your model and go to your properties window. You're going to see primary part. Click on the space next to primary part and now you get to select which part of your model is your primary part. I have part 1 here so I'm going to select part 1 as my primary part. As soon as I click on part 1 you can see that part 1 is filled in right next to primary part in the properties window. So now my part 1 is my primary part of this right staircase model. Once you have selected your primary part for your model, go back to your script. Instead of get pivot, we're going to say get primary part C frame. And instead of pivot two, we're going to say set primary part C frame. You use set primary part C frame to set the new C frame for your primary part. Here I'm setting the new C frame to be equals to the current C frame of my primary part plus a vector 3. Basically when the primary part of the model is moved, everything else in the model moves with it. I'm not suggesting that you should do it the old way. I'm just showing it to you so in case you come across some old code, you, you would recognize what the code is doing. Now let's play and take a look. So there you can see the right staircase is moving upward. Now instead of using get primary part C frame, I could have just referenced to the primary part directly. For example here, I'm gonna say right staircase dot primary part, which is the property of the model, the right staircase model dot C frame. Now if you prefer to declare your primary part using script as opposed to doing it manually here, I'm going to give you an example. I'm going to remove this primary part here. So my primary part for right staircase is empty. I don't have a primary part for my right staircase. But I'm going to go inside my script here and I'm going to set right staircase dot primary part equals to right staircase dot part one. Let's now play and take a look. And there you can see the right staircase is moving upward. Everyone, that's how you move a model in the old days. 